Hey guys, and welcome to another haul. Um, now with this, this is gonna be my um <coughs> July and August haul with movies and D Blu-rays and DVDs of what horror movies of what I bought in July and August. Um, yeah, something happened. I didn't end up a little bit of reviewing. Um, so I was eating chocolate, so it's all um. So I didn't end up editing and uploading my July haul, so that will also combine my July haul at the end of this video. So this is what I bought in August, and then after this, what I bought in July. Um, so yeah, it probably will be a bit of a long movie. I have consumed a lot, consumed. I have bought a fair bit within the past two months, which is a bit bad. But anyway, what can I say? <laughs> so anyway, um. This one I bought from DVD King, which if anyone who lives in Brisbane, definitely go check out DVD King. Great little shop. Um, they can pretty much get <coughs> video, um, slight ran hard to find um, stuff. So yeah, go check them out if you're in the living near Brisbane. Anyway, so first one is a Scream Factory called um, Terror Train and the Video Dead. Sorry, no, Terror Vision, sorry. The video dead. Um, I haven't watched this yet. I will have to. Hopefully, it will work in my um. I got a really cheap all region Blu-ray player from Big W. Um, the brand is not a very good brand. I have owned the DVD player from there, and it pretty much broke. It ate my one of my DVDs. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully it does work. Um, I know my Scream Factory of Slipaway Camp. The Blu-ray doesn't work. Hopefully this does. If not, I'll just ho I'll definitely will hold on to it though, and try to work. Hopefully something comes out soon. So the next one is Clown. Um, Eli Roth's Clown. I think I watched the first bit of this at a mate's place. Um, and it was all pretty interesting and good. Um, and yeah. Then we got. Ooh. So yeah, these ones. <laughs> I was gonna do an unboxing of um a couple of these because I did order some online, but <clears throat> I couldn't wait and I just had to open it. <laughs> So yeah, uh, end up being Slipway Camp 2. Um, with me, I cannot order directly from Scream Factory, which really does suck because I'd rather give the company the money than Amazon, you know, because like all the whole proceeds to go to Scream Factory. But um, yeah, I can't and I don't get a poster. Like someone go, oh hey, you get a free poster of this, and it's like, no, I don't want a free poster. Anyway, Slipway Camp 2. I love the Slipway Camp franchise. Next we got Sleepaway Camp 3, so yeah, so I love this covers, um, I do hopefully want to get more screen, screen, what are you, Screen Factory, um, movies. Next one, um, it wasn't too bad, and it's the house that October built, um, we'll have to do a review on this, it, I didn't know it was found footage, but it wasn't a bad found footage, but there was stuff in here that I thought didn't really work or wouldn't have happened, I felt. So, yeah, um, I will do a review on that, actually. The next one is Taurus Trap. Um, I think I saw someone review this or talk about it, and I thought, I really want to do check this out. Um, I was a bit disappointed, though. It wasn't as good as what I thought it would be. I love my 70s and 80s horror, especially 80s. This was made in, like, 1979, I believe. But, um, yeah, I was a bit disappointed, but still a pretty good movie to check out. So the next one I got is um horror collection um eight movie pack. I do want to try to get more of these movie pack things. Um I know a lot of people don't like these things. Um I love the horror movie packs. There's like there's always a hidden gem in a lot of these. Um there's also a lot of fucking shit in these. Um I've only watched one. But um anyway, the movies in this one are Waxwork, Nine Seven Six Evil Two, um Ghoulies Three. I only own Ghoulies Three. I oh, do I? I'm trying to think, uh, might have good. I got like kind of, I don't know. Might have Ghoulies three. I might not. Um, the Unholy, Chud two, Chopping Mall. That's the one I have seen. It's actually not too bad. Very weird, but I still liked it. Um, Slaughter High, which I do own, and Class of nineteen ninety nine. Next one I got is a um, all for. So, all night horror marathon, aren't um, this? is another Scream Factory one. Um, 
and it's got where's the matter with what's the matter with Helen um, Vargaint not sure it's half, half bloody covered up the God sent and the outlining the outlining a K okay, the limp so yeah um uh, yeah I guess I paid 30 bucks for this probably definitely not worth it I probably should have just bought it online but at the end of the day it's a very young um, little can't, very little store like own so you know trying to keep Australian things in there so I prefer to buy something in stores even if it's gonna cost me a bit extra just to keep Australian industry alive like help out shopkeepers um this one it has one of those things that everybody hates when it comes to horror movies so is it this one yeah so we've got 12 films you can just like them on individual disc or three on each disc and have them in like that's how it is but it's bloody stacked so yeah I'm not a big fan of stacking Wing. Anyway, so yeah, American Horror Stories. Um, we've got Nightmare Castle, Points of Terror, Horror Express, Don't Answer the Phone. Sorry, what am I doing? Um, Bloody Pit of Horror, A Bucket of Blood, Don't Look in the Basement, Drill Killer, Drive In Massacre. Shit, that sounds really good. Sla 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 Silent Night, Bloody Night, House on Haunted Hill, and The Little Shop of Horrors. Do I Little Shop of Horrors? So I've got to check something here. Anyway, so yeah, one thing that does piss me off about that is it's stacked. I don't like them when they're all stacked in there. Um, anyway, next one is a monster release and is Memory Lane. I have not checked this out, but I will. There's a lot of things in here. <laughs> the next one I bought because I wanted to watch it and I knew it would be really shit, but I still wanted to watch it and um, yeah, it was shit. It had potential. I saw what they were trying to aim for. Ow. But, um, just didn't pull it off. And there's Children of Corn, the remake. I can see this in the next couple of years getting another remake. It might be so, like, you know, something good. But, yeah, that was just, let's not talk about that one. Next one is The Quiet Ones. I did start watching this and then I ended up, um, falling asleep. <laughs> I'm just at work lately. I haven't been out of staff and watch a movie. I just go, clunk. And it takes like three times to watch the whole thing. Three nights to watch the whole movie, but I didn't end up going back, so I watched like yeah, so we'll get around to it. Next one is the Tob Hooper um collection. I do own another one of these, but this one is um Eaten Alive, Spontaneous Combustion, and the American Nightmare. I do own the American Nightmare, but um I didn't pay ten bucks. This is at a um at a market for like two bucks or something, so I picked it up. So yeah. The documentary in the American Night is really good if you've not checked that out. The next one is one I didn't actually mind. Um, it was very <coughs> unusual, but it was still good. Um, I didn't enjoy it. It's called Muck. So this is another monster release. I am trying to collect more monster movies. The whole monster um, monster pictures. So yeah, Muck. Very unusual. Australian gold Queensland actor in there. So yes. Anyway. And then we got Somebody Help Me. Haven't seen this yet, was going to start watching it. I think I opened it and then I think I just. Sometimes I open them and I'm like, no, actually, I should not watch that. So, yeah. Next one is um, Night of the Demons. I did actually watch this. Uh, this was very weird. Um, good, but weird. Um, yeah, who knew doing doggy style will make you vomit up um, grubs? Yeah, who knew? Um, don't you want to know? Ugh. Anyway, next one is another six movie pack um, of horror collection, and we got Re Bride of Reanimator, Beyond Reanimator, Return of Living Dead Three, Return of Living Dead, Return of, and then another Return of Living Up oh, Dead, so and then Night of the Living Dead 3D. So yes, next one is another six pack horror collection. It has um, Blood Dinner, Parents, Earth Girls Are Easy, Sundown, Fido, Boy. Boy Eats Girl. <laughs> I watched Boy Eats Girl the other night. Just, it's just weird. Really weird. Um, it's it starts off like a um a teen rom com, and yeah, and it's just you no, know, it turns into a zombie film. It's a bit weird. Next one is Julia. Um, this wasn't a bad. It's a more of a um a rape revenge film. Um, I don't know. It's just something about it. I. 
I I enjoyed watching it, but something about it, I don't know. I'm not too sure how I felt about this film. I will do a review on it, hopefully. But yeah. Next one I got is um, Hellbent. The Calling. One that I've been waiting for ages to drop down in price. The Sacrament by Eli Roth. So I can't wait to watch that. At the Devil's Doors. I did rent this out and start watching it. It was good, so I thought I'd pick it up. Disco Path. I did start watching this and I wasn't enjoying it. And I ended up falling asleep. I, didn't, I don't think I fell. I think I just turned it off. So <laughs> I wasn't really enjoying it. The Bunny Massacre. I did start watching this too. I didn't end up finishing it all. Um, I'm really bad lately with just watching movies and finishing them. I just can't be bothered. And that's probably the why I've got lack of reviews. Just don't feel like watching. I just feel like chucking on, um, I've been watching a lot of, uh, <laughs> watching, um, Workaholics TV show. If you've not seen that, watch it. It's not a, um, horror. It's just a TV comedy. It's really nice and relaxing to put on after work. So anyway, um, then we got, last of all, Madhouse. I haven't seen this one either, but I do plan on watching it. Of course, because I bought it. Anyway, comment down below if you've seen any of these movies and check out Stay tuned for what I bought in July. Sorry, this video probably will be long. This is at sitting at 12 minutes now. And yes, anyway, I will see you all later. Goodbye. So I will start off with the Blu rays because of there's a lot less. Um, pretty much this one, it just came out the other day. I've only watched a bit of it. I watched a bit of it last night and ended up falling asleep. Not because it was boring, but because I just got back from a party and I was tired. So yes, I got um, It Follows, which is only new. Came out this year. Um, I've heard all well, I've heard really great things about this. The next one I was going to pick up because I've got it on um, DVD, but I guess I can hear it is. On DVD, I'll chuck it out of my DVD pile. Yeah, let's put it up there with the rest of my doubles. And I decided, uh, apparently, US don't have it on Blu ray. Well, that's really weird, so I thought I might grab it before Australia decides to take it off. And it's um, John Carpenter's Christine. I've not seen Christine yet, which is a bit weird, but you know. Yeah, I will check out. Um, this next one is another Australian film, um, an Australian zombie film called um, Where Where Wood. Uh, Where Wood. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, apparently it's meant to be a really good Australian zombie film. So yeah, so I picked this up. That was sort of um, I went to um Sanity and done the four for fifty. It was actually five for fifty five, but I believe the other one I got I got Fight Club. I think I got a couple of non horrors. I think the other one's a Fight Club. So yeah. So I can find my DVD. Anyway, next one is The Purge Anarchy. I've only seen the first bit of this, I think, and I've only seen Purge. Not a big fan of Purge. I do enjoy the premise of the whole Purge thing, that whole you can only kill for like 12 hours each year. And like, all crime is um, legalised. Um, I think that's a good premise, but so far from what I've seen from this and what I saw from the last one, they had me you know, to pull off that storyline. Next one is Daniel Radcliffe's Horns. I have seen this before. Um, I will watch it again and then do a review. Next one, I'm not too sure if it's a horror. It does sound like a, like a sort of like a psychological thriller, so I put one on um, EDM, so Enter the Dangerous Mind. Pick this up from um, Blockbuster. There's the next rental. So, and the next one is The Resident. I think it's another thriller. So, but you know, I'm not too sure if it's a horror. But thrillers, you pretty much getting on the borderline. It can be scary to a lot of people, so yes, don't break that. Um, and the next one actually is a VHS, uh, and it is of John Carpenter's Halloween. I'll sit at the markets under a table, on tables, a few other DVD, uh, little, little, little VHS, and I thought, yep, gotta definitely pick that up. So yeah, pick that up. One two, I don't know where to put you. Put that here. So yes. Let's get into uh, we got um the stuff which is a um monsters movie thing. I'm trying to collect all the monsters um horror films. So yeah. <laughs> the next one I have seen before, I keep putting it off because it is very stupid, but I thought actually I want in my collection. Um note this film, it's a good film to watch with friends. Um uh, if you have any gay guys as friends it's a terrifying movie for them. We didn't th really think th through when we saw it. And my friend Cody's gay and he was on the floor squirming. So if he had any chance of becoming straight, 
there's no way now. And there's teeth. Pretty much this film is about this girl who has teeth in her vagina. And when she, sort of like a Venus flytrap when she wants it to be. So yes. What um, Road Driver. So a lot of these I just picked up from the markets in that flat two box and yeah. Um, the remake of Dark Water. This is a Japanese version. Um, not sorry. This is the English version. American. Um, not a big. Was a was pretty disappointed in this. Was not scary at all. Oh yeah. Also what what? Then we got um Scarecrow. I've been mean, wanting to check this out for ages, and I was left a bit disappointed. It just wasn't something. Wasn't what I expected. Next, we got Midnight Sun. This was actually pretty good. It's another monster movie, uh, monsters, um, pictures release. Um, and yeah, it actually wasn't wasn't a bad film. It wasn't scary or anything. It was just interesting and like intriguing. So yeah. <laughs> the next one is an Anchor Bay um film. Um, I meant to keep doing a review. Meant to do a review on this. Um, <laughs> it it's mind boggling. It is a mind boggling thing. That's really. Intriguing, memorizing, and mind-boggling mystery chiller, and that's what it was. It was so it's our um, mind games. Um, just very weird, but good. Um, the next one I haven't seen the first one. I think I actually watched a bit of it, and I just know I'm not going to enjoy the film. Um, from what I've seen of it, and for what I it the Blair it's the Blair Witch Project. Um, two. Um. You know, the first one is meant is um a cult classic because of what it done. But what it done wasn't everything. It's so new. But what it done was like made it's like it, they hyped it up to make it like and what they done to like release it as it was real. But and it made it look real. The documentary kind of like thing they done. But Cannibal Holocaust done it and it done it that well. That guy was on murder charges. So, hey, Blair Witch Project, I'm sorry, but you got nothing on Camel Holocaust. Like, you know. I'm going to do check it out. I don't want to, like, bag it out, but this is, um, The Book of Shadows. This is one number two, but I feel it's... The Blair Witch Project is hyped up to be something which done it first, and it's like it didn't do it first. And, yeah. I'm actually just blabbing on now. Um, we got Cornered. Haven't seen it. Looks pretty good. Um, so it looks like, yeah. And we got the dinner party. Got no idea. The convent. Uh, sounds pretty cool. Um, it's sort of a horror nun one. <laughs> yeah, always interesting to watch. Um, shuttle. So yeah, that it looks pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I just picked up a lot of these things. I saw horror. Which, why not? Then we got um little Aaron Merriweather, I think. Um, this one I've seen the second one at JB, but I believe it is out of print. I haven't been seen it anywhere else, so I thought I'll definitely pick it up. House on the Haunted Hill. So yeah. Um, <laughs> this one just looked like really weird. Um, tortoises. So yeah, um, should be interesting. We got um smash cut. Um, look like a like a horror, like horror, like filmmaking one. So I thought, why not love filmmaking? So and love horror. So I and mean, I love horror movies about filmmaking. So yeah, this next one I hope I actually don't. Uh, can I see? No, this one I did have, but a friend lent it off me, and then another friend lent it off her. And of course, when you do that, you never see him back, and I don't talk to that friend anymore. Sort of, we all had a fun. <laughs> don't really talk. So yeah, she's got it and paintball. So yes, but anyway, there it is. I might get it back one day because of she has this garage sale thing online. So I thought, yep, if it ever pops up on there, I'm gonna say you can't sell that because that is actually mine. So yes. Anyway. Next one we got is the pool. Uh, it just looks like one of those very <laughs> cheesy, you know, but really stupid cheesy horror films, which you got to question why you start picking it up, but, you know, <laughs> we all do. 
point, I think everybody who collects horror movies is guilty of buying shit they know is going to be shit. But we do it because we want to add to our collection. Then we got um Blade 2, um, Mayhem. I don't think you guys can see this right. Inheritance, if not, I'll just might drag you in here. There we are. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, well, excuse me. Um, 13 Ghosts. I keep always seeing this and I thought, you know what? Why not just pick it up? <laughs> Funny story when I was at Cash Converse because I was lining up and there was this other guy next to me and he's opening him up, just putting it in there. And the other guy was about to be cut. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. He's going to try to like, go in front of this guy who was going first. And so the guy went to send me first. And I was like, no, I'm next. He didn't really hear. And you say that the other guy goes, oh, no. And he's like, oh, what a gentleman. I'm sitting there thinking, no. Fuck off. No. Not a gentleman. I was actually next. Plus, it reeked a BO in there, too. <laughs> we got um, botched. Um, Soul Keeper. <laughs> I don't know why I picked this up, really, like, I don't know, I probably won't even watch it for a couple of years, I'll probably just sit there, so, I really need to put all my horror movies that I haven't watched in a jar, like, the names, and just draw them out, I used to actually do that, and it's just a good way of, I think, watching the films that you wouldn't usually watch, which is weird, because we buy them, so. Um, this next one is, I believe... A Spanish film. Um, I love my Spanish horror and it was part of the monsters thing, so I'm like, why not? And Blind Alley. Have not checked it out yet. We got, um, Silver. I have not. I think I started watching this and I ended up falling asleep, so I couldn't be bothered watching it the next day. Um, yeah, it did seem a bit weird. Then we got, um, Night Hunt. I don't know much about that one. <laughs> Next one is um, Psycho Beach Party. Actually, another thing is when I got these, the guy's scanning me. He's like, "Are you okay? Do you need to see a psychiatrist?" I was like, "Go on, I'm good." Anyone else get that spinal harmonies? People just automatically assume you're a bit, a bit nuts. I am nuts, but you get that in life. Um, this one I keep putting off when I see in the shop. So when I saw it here um, at Cashies, I thought, you know what? Why not? And that is Stigma. And another monsters film called Throwback. Um, it is another Yeti film, Australian film about um a Yeti. So I believe it's about a Yeti. I believe it is. Anyway, yeah. This next one I picked up in another day on Blu-ray. I was like, ah, oh, what? I wish I. I didn't think to look to see if it was on Blu-ray because a lot of times the horror Blu-rays aren't even with the horror section and then just all over the place in the blu-ray section which sort of does suck but um anyway i don't know but i could take it back and swap it but i won't and there's um razorback which is australian film um about a killer boar um also it was made in 19 i think it was made in 1984 so i believe i think when i looked up it said 1984 so don't look it up me if i'm wrong <laughs> you can say if i got wrong but i believe it was 1984 and 1984 is actually my favorite Ye of horror. Anyway, last but not least, it is Leave. I think, I think I did start watching this too. And then I fell asleep. I've fallen asleep a lot lately. And yeah.
anyway, comment down below if you've seen any of these films and what you thought about them. And yeah, I'll see you all later with another review. Or oh, another. Yeah. I don't know. Bye.